Alexa, turn on living room. Okay. When I first got the Amazon Echo, it's a pretty cool device. I could talk to when I'm bored, um, ask for the next day's weather, current day's news, uh, stuff like that. And I really like it when I'm doing dishes upstairs sometimes and uh, I don't want to dry off my hands and turn on my favorite music on Pandora uh, because I listen to Pandora often. Uh, the Amazon Echo allows me to do that. Those are the simple features of the Amazon Echo. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some examples. Alexa, what's the weather today? In Daly City, it's 68 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds with a high of 70 and a low of 60. Alexa, add sandwich to my shopping list. I've added sandwich to your shopping list. Alexa, turn on Pandora. Getting the last Pandora station you listen to. Dinner Jazz Radio. Alexa, turn off music. Alexa, what's one plus one? One plus one equals two. Oh, I don't think you knew that already. Alexa, what's five times seven times five? Five times seven times five is equal to 175. Not bad. Okay, Amazon Echo can be a great companion for loners out there, but at the price of 199 US dollars, is this gadget worth it? At first I thought it was kind of stupid, but everything changed after I added some of my Belkin Wemo switches to it. Wemo switches are basically switches you can hook up to any of your 110 volt AC appliances up to 15 amps and control them using the Wemo app on your Android or Apple iOS. Now I can control all of the lights upstairs in my house, uh, my studio lights, even my PC and my backup servers in my house. Let me give you a quick demo. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so I can go ahead and turn on my lights in the living room now, uh, one by one. Let me go ahead and show you. Alexa, turn on lights. And this will turn on my lights uh, over here. Alexa, turn on star. And that will turn on my lights, uh, the star light. And I have a third light called light too. Alexa, turn on light too. Okay. Uh, you can also control them by groups, and I've grouped them as living room, so I can go, Alexa, turn off living room. Okay. And I can say, Alexa, turn on living room. Okay. All right, guys, I have these soft boxes I use in my office. Uh, to turn them on, basically I have to go up here, turn on the switch, uh, do that with all, the, all of the lights. And it does sometimes bother me because I have this up all the way up and then I have to go on the chair. Now I can do this. Alexa, turn on studio. As you can see, you can still use your voice commands even if you're not in the same room as the Amazon Echo uh, with the Amazon Echo remote. This one actually works throughout my house. My house is not too big, 1500 square feet. We got two floors, but it does work everywhere in my house. This makes my life a lot easier and I can also control all these lights uh, one by one. Turn off studio light one. Turn off studio light two. Turn off studio light three. Turn on studio. And also I really like having this because sometimes I forget to turn off my lights downstairs and I can just tell Alexa, Alexa, turn off studio. And that's it. I've also got my Wemo set up with my main PC because sometimes when I travel, I want to be able to uh, remotely connect to my computer, but I don't like to leave it on all the time. That's not going to be good for your computer. Plus uh, my computer has a lot of graphic cards, so it you waste a lot of energy, like 500 watts if I just leave it on 24 seven. Now I've got it hooked up to my Amazon Echo, so I can also control my PC from anywhere from my house. Turn on PC. And the way I did it is I went into the BIOS. Uh, I have it where the power comes on and the computer will turn on automatically. As you can see, home automation with voice commands on the Amazon Echo is probably the coolest feature. Uh, with a couple of Wemos and the Amazon Echo, uh, you could have your whole home completely voice controlled. Amazon Echo also supports other types of home automation gadgets. You can check out the link in the description. All right, so let me show you how easy it is to set up a Wemo and Amazon Echo uh, for home automation with voice control. 
You'll need to set up your Wemos on your home wireless internet and on your smartphone. First, plug in your Wemo. You can hold the button on the back for 5 seconds to reset it. Second, install the Wemo app on your smartphone. Third, your new Wemo should pop up in your wireless connections. Connect to it. Fourth, open up the Wemo app and it will set up your new Wemo automatically. You can rename it to anything you like. Uh, we will use Yo 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 in this example. Yo. Fifth, test out your Wemo app and make sure your new Wemo is working. Sixth, open up your Echo app, go to Menu, Settings, Connect at Home, then tap on Discover Devices. This should find your new Wemo device for your Amazon Echo. Seventh, now your new Wemo is connected to your Amazon Echo. Try doing commands like Turn on Yo Yo Yo. Turn off Yo Yo Yo. Eighth, if you want to group multiple Wemos to turn on together, you can use the Groups feature in the settings. Simply group your Wemos that you want to control together, such as your living room lights. Before using the Amazon Echo, we wasted a ton of energy. Simply, we had three lights in the living room and the light switches were in three different locations. With the new Amazon Echo, my daughter Peony has a ton of fun every day of turning off the living room lights. When your kids can control your home with their voice, that is amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now you can automate your whole house with your voice commands. Oh, it's really simple to do. It took me maybe an hour or two to set up all of those lights, all my studio lights, my PC, my backup servers. Uh, so it actually doesn't take that long. One of the best parts about Amazon Echo and Wemo both are that they're easy to set up. Anybody can do this. So long as you have some kind of internet in your house, um, anybody can do this. So I highly recommend it. If you're interested in setting something like this up in your house, definitely check out my full tutorial. I'll have links to all the products that I use and I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus, Instagram. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on and dry. Alexa, who's your boss? Well, I'm here just for you. So you're probably the boss. Yeah.